they have something on here for abortion pill reversal, which is interesting. And this is Riley. She's a um, she's a pro-abortion activist. And to explain to somebody who's not from America about American politics, but specifically abortion, it's just so heavily divided with a lot of misinformation. I don't think anybody's out. Oh, maybe there's one person. I see somebody. They have a sign. Oh, yep. What do they? What does the uh, sign say? Pray to end abortion. And they just stand there all day. Yep. They stand there, um, and we're lucky here because usually they would stand at the clinic, so the clinic's right there. Um, but in Lansing, they just stand on this corner. We're in a state where abortion is, is legal, and we're in a town which is very student-dominated, and there's still, you've yeah. still got anti-abortion protesters, yeah. on, like basically on campus. Yeah, and we're lucky to have them be tame. Yeah. What kind of interviewing are you doing? Do you want me to say? No, I don't care. And this is Riley. She's a um, she's a pro-abortion activist. Oh. Hmm. Good to know. There's many opinions out there, so this is why we're out there to protect life. So you're welcome to have that piece. That's what we give to people. As a young person going for an abortion, it's really difficult to have to walk past that, right? Yeah, especially with that sign saying pray to end abortion. If you're religious in any sense and you see that and you're like, that could be a sign that you're doing, you feel like you're doing the wrong thing. Man, I, I think that the, a Trump presidency, again, for reproductive rights specifically, it's like something I don't even want to imagine. We'd be going back in time. Gen Z as a whole is leaning towards not having kids. Um, and I think you'd see a lot more of that.